Welcome to Dumb Fuckers. My name is Brando. I'm here with my friend Jake, and we are playing Dark Souls 3, and uh, this is actually going to be a challenge. Isn't that right, Jake? I, I guess came up with this. I've never heard of it before. I am going to be choosing, well, I guess Brandon has chose the Sorcerer to start with, and mm. up until the DLC, which is at the very end of the game for reference, I will not be allowed to change any of my equipment outside of rings and spells. So I will be stuck with that dink-ass little dagger, this pathetic little shield, and this crappy armor. Dink dagger. Yes. Let us begin. Behold, the dink dagger. Actually, Actually it's the tank just... twister. That's the character's name. I wasn't, I wasn't talking about the character. Well, that's who we're beholding. Alright. Okay. So, I know very little about this game. We, we did a bit of a test run the other night, and uh, I'll put it generously. He would have been one of the ones who thought you had to fight the Asylum Demon with the Broken Sword in Dark Souls 1, and gave up. Uh, I believe you mean I was the one who was going to fucking kick ass at this, because that's exactly what was happening. You died to that hollow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not how I remember it at all. You also died to the giant lizard over in the corner. No. No. Hmm. Pretty sure I kicked ass at that. No, we did have footage, but somebody deleted it. On accident. On accident, to be on fair. On accident, yeah. But, you know, fuck you anyway. So, since I actually know what the fuck is going on in this game... You will be required to ask questions whenever they come available. I'm not going to go do that right now. Why? Because shit. there is a ring that I can get after the tree in Firelink Shrine, which I'm sure you remember me jumping off of like 30 times. Why? Why the tree or why the ring? Why? Shut up. Okay. But, uh... Mm. I always wait to kill that guy, because once you get the ring, you get extra souls out of it, which means more levels right at the start. So, easier time. Alright, alright. On a side note, I just had some, like, amazing chili. Uh, I have not actually had it, but I assume it is good. Um, I want to stick my balls in it. That would probably ruin it. Have you not heard of that? Well, it's actually dip. Um, dip, dip, potato chip. By the way, this is our character's face. I'm fun at parties. This is a woman, for reference. Everybody likes me. I, I don't... I, I think that is the opposite of the reaction most people would have. I think the reaction would be either running and screaming or getting pitchforks and torches. People find my Johnness very intriguing. Johnness. That's what I said. You said John Ness. I had John my Ness. lips pouted. Well, stop. Because that's how oh, she would talk. Are you assuming her vocal capabilities? <laughs> uh, did you just assume my, um, uh, 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 fuck, I forgot where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, I was wondering, like, how long you were going to go with that. Uh, did you just, did you just assume my gender? That's what I was trying to think of, but except with, like... That took you so <laughs> long. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of drops. This is, like, oddly lucky. It's, I mean, like, if I was playing it... You'd be dead right now. I mean... Well, that's kind of a dick move. This is EU Dick's Gunder Thighs. I guarantee you, like, that was the only thing keeping him alive. And now he's dying, and he's very mad at you. Like, he is outraged. Why would he be mad for me pulling out the sword? Well, he's fucking pissed now, and then you put it back in. And then I put a different sword back in. Wow. Way to I, kick I, a man when he's already down. I gave him a new one. That one was, like, thousands of years old. Like, upgrade your equipment, man. Yeah, so what's happening... Uh, so, I mentioned this before, that giant tentacle monster demon thing that is coming out of his anus. How am I alive? Uh, that is what is referred to as the Puss of Man. 
It is a being of gelatinous darkness. And I guess a tree for some reason. Well then. And now he's dead. This is not the last time we will see Gunderthighs. Gunderthighs? You didn't catch that before? No. You need to pay better attention. I'm sorry, like, this game... <laughs> There's something new happening every second. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of what happens when you're viewing a video game for the first time. New things tend to happen very rapidly. Fuck, like... <laughs> Then there's a door? Holy fuck! And now there's a dead guy with a broken sword on him. Yeah, no, I wasn't expecting any of that. And then there's more guys up here that will soon be dead, because that's how games work. What? Oh god. Death approaches. Oh! Uh, one HP. One HP. That ah, Alright, you got this. Alright. I, I forgot that these guys take three hits instead of two. Why do I have another one of those? So what... I'm still a little confused on the souls. What, what do they do? They are your currency and your experience. Or were you meaning the ones that come off of these guys? Like that I, one. Yes. That one you crush in your palm, and then you get a set amount of souls out of it. Those are worth 50. Okay, and then what? This, so they're your currency. And your experience. You use them to level up and to buy things. Can you not level up if you're buying shit? Well, if you buy shit, you have less, and you have to have a certain amount to level up. So if you buy too much, then you can't get a level. That's pretty ingenious. I mean, that's been going on for five games now. Because you have Demon Souls, all three Dark Souls, and then Bloodborne, which had the same system, but with blood echoes. Yeah. All games I've totally played. <laughs> well, it is part of a series that has been going for almost ten years now, I think. I think Demon Souls was 2008. Something like that. Well, this is Firelink Shrine. This is the Firekeeper. Should you... Oh. I was about to say, <laughs> should you kill her? <laughs> I mean, she is the, like, one person in this place you can kill and it doesn't really matter. Everybody okay. else, like you learned, doesn't exactly like dying. Yeah, well, um, I don't fucking blame them. <laughs> like, uh, have you ever been stabbed and realized that you're about to die? Like, it sucks. I mean, yeah, that's what this entire game is. Yeah, no, like... It's not a fun feeling <laughs> at all. Like, I'm being serious. Then, like, then, I've done it. Like, then you just drink your Sunny D and you're fine. Oh yeah, my <laughs> my very yeah. like explosiony Sunny D. Explosion. It, it looks like that Sunny D is about to blow. It's like, technically speaking, lore wise, if we're gonna get into that, it is like concentrated fire. Yeah, no, that doesn't, uh... <laughs> you are an unkindled... sense. ...which you are linked to the bonfire. Has this game even heard of science? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically we're in medieval times, for one thing, so Where no. science didn't exist? Pretty much, yeah. And then, like, whenever science got introduced, like, thousands of years later, like... Then they just... use blood. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Then they just drank blood. Well, not I... really drank. They, like, took a vial with a needle on and just stabbed themselves in the thigh. That's how you heal in Bloodborne. Oh, and by the way, it's that menstrual blood. Oh, pff. makes it even better. Yep. Adds flavoring. Flavoring through your thigh meat. Exactly. You taste with your thighs. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, th this is why I waited to kill the wizard, because in here, there is a ring that increased the amount of souls you get for every enemy you kill. And since that guy gives a fair amount, considering he is a mini-boss, that'll get me, like, possibly an extra level. This is the crow. The right, pump bomb. Right. Uh, firebomb. Bone shard. Call and then you're gonna, you're gonna get some shit, right? Yep. I got Solaire's bracelets from Dark Souls 1 and a large Titanite shard. Alright, alright. 
Then we come over here. Wait, this is not where we go. I, I never go this way. That's probably why I'm confused. Uh, we go... Shut up, crow. Nobody cares. We go over here. Oh no, it's a wall. Magic. I'm not impressed. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, is your fucking was, mind blown? If it was a door you could open, I'd be very impressed with the mechanics of this game, but no, like, that, that seems cheap. Why would you be more impressed with a fucking literal door? Instead bro. Of, instead of a magic illusion that... Like, bro. Okay, I I get fully erect when I see a door in a video game. I'm just like, holy shit, what is through that? And you open it, and it's... You're incredibly disappointed with everything in your life. Well, I mean, yeah, you open it, and there's like a huge amount of disappoint disappointment <laughs> through the, on the other side, but like, still, like, ugh. Oh, wait, I should have just... stayed up there and cheesed Swordmaster. That's what Old Man McGee over there is called. He is the Swordmaster. <laughs> there actually used to be a glitch with him. Uh, you could fight one of the endgame bosses like 10 minutes into the game. You could summon him for that fight after you kill him here. And then if you let him die, quit out of the fight, resummoned him, and went back in, he wouldn't have a hitbox anymore. So you could literally just let him do the fight for you. Wow. How do you... How... How do people discover I don't, this shit? Like, I, I really don't know, because I watch speedruns of this game, because I like the series, and I like seeing all the sh weird shit people do. Like, people have found out, like, uh, in the DLC... Ow. Oh, there he goes. And I do it the ring on. Okay. So, he will die. I get extra souls. We'll come back later and pick up his shit, even though we're not gonna use it. Get some... Get some tree souls. Actually, that was a shield. Alright, but well, why do they look the same? It, it's just the general item thing, like, oh, there's an item on this corpse, or oh, an enemy dropped something. Just It lets you know that there is something there. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in the new DLC, The Ring City, there are enemies called Preachers. And they have an attack where they will grab you, pick you up, and, like, bite the hell out of your neck. One of these speedrunners that I watch found a way to use that to clip through the floor to drop into a boss fight that would have otherwise taken, like, an extra 30 minutes to get to. Not really, because speedrunners know how to get around that shit faster, but, like, you get what I mean. Yeah, no. I <laughs> absolutely understand this game. And all of its nuanced facets. Yes, in, it, in its entirety, like... All five games within this first ten minutes of gameplay, I completely understand. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm not the one playing right now. Because you'd be dead. Uh, no, because I'd be kicking ass with my knowledge. You can know everything about this game and still be garbage. <sighs> yeah, but, like, you gotta know, like, this boss's weak point. Like, you have to know that shit. This isn't a boss, it's a mini-boss. There's a difference. And also, it doesn't have a weak point. It's just slap it until it falls over. Yeah, slap that ass. Like that? Kind of. You remember that little lizard thing that I ran behind the shrine and stabbed? Um, sure. Well, this is what happens when one of those eats souls. It turns into this thing. Well, and now it's dead. Diet Knight Scale, which is just Demon Diet Knight from Dark Souls 1 with a different skin on it. Very nice. What? I just... What is happening? <laughs> uh, I went back to the shrine using a homeward bone. <laughs> you as, phoned your way to the shrine? Yes. As they have been referred throughout the series. Oh, I should probably not be skipping all this dialogue, but whatever. Nah. Uh, um, okay, so... What is the plot? Of this game or the series? Yes. 
this game specifically, as was went over in the intro cutscene, which you have obviously forgotten, the first flame, which was where humans got their souls and became more than those hollows that are sitting outside, is fading. Which is normal by now, because it goes through cycles of light and dark where the fire will be relinked and then fade and then relinked and then fade. Yes. Well, the person who was supposed to relink at this time said, fuck you, I'm not gonna do that shit. So it's going like critical fade. So it brought back Lords of Cinder, who are people who have linked the fire in the past. So they can, you know, go burn themselves alive again. They're like, that's fucking stupid. I'm not gonna do this shit. Fuck you. And then they left. So now it's our job, as an unkindled, who is somebody who tried to link the fire before, but died, to go kill their asses and then make them go sit on their thrones so the fire can be relinked. Has the CN ever heard of science? No. Okay. Except for gravity, because gravity is the most dangerous enemy in the universe. Oh. Gravity is the thing that will kill you more often than anything else. Damn. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> and great, now you have no souls. Way to suck. Because I leveled up, you fuck monkey. And what are you doing now? Going to the first area. How are you supposed to know what to do? Like... <laughs> They, they kind of assume if you're playing the third game, you have some knowledge. And the people who don't yeah. are the people who just get their friends to play the entire game for them. <laughs> Not in the sense of me playing it like I am now, but literally they will summon three people who are at the end of the game, have fully upgraded equipment, into their game, and then just make them go run ahead and kill everything while they just fucking beat off in the corner. Just like I'm doing. <laughs> Basically. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Oh, what? Yeah, no, this is... Yeah, it's been fuck. some... Yeah. Mm -hmm. At least let no. me get down to the fucking bonfire, God. No. It's like two feet away. No! 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 Fucking no! No!